Joining us on the hotline is Dr. Joe Congeni, and uh, we have a common theme here, Dr. Joe. Uh, let, hang on a second. Let me put on my athletic supporter before we talk. Here. Yeah, see, you're getting right to the heart of the matter, Tony. Well, not, maybe not the heart here. No, not the heart. Not the heart. A little lower than the heart. And an injury that we've been seeing talked about a lot lately in the sports world, and particularly in the Cleveland area, is an injury to the the groin or you know the private area. The, really, a testicular injury. And I, went, I did want to go down there today. And you know that it's been in the news partly because, geez, what's the problem with Draymond Green kicking Stephen Adams, taking a swing at LeBron down in the groin area? But more so in the baseball world, there have been three incidences in the last three weeks, two of them with Indian players who have been hit. Uh, Jan Gomes by a foul tip, Uribe by a ball that was scorched down the third baseline. They said, Tony, that it was 106 miles per hour, uh, the ball that was hit at Uribe, and it caught him in the groin area, in the you know testicular area. And the guy from the, um, from the Baltimore Orioles, Orioles, Caleb Joseph, uh, it was a catcher, it was a foul tip. And in all three of those areas, uh, they were an injury to the te- testicle, testicular injury. Luckily for the two Indian players, they do a test called an ultrasound, and you can see is there damage to the testicle, bleeding in the testicle, and in both of those two cases, from what I read in the paper, there's not damage, and uh, Uribe's taking batting practice again. Looks like he'll come back. Joseph... Uh, Caleb Joseph was put on the 15-day DL and had surgery on his. So instead of just being a bad deep bruise with some bleeding, he actually had what's called a fractured testicle. Mm. And the problem with that, Tony, is if they have a significant fractured testicle, sometimes you can't salvage it if you lose the blood flow. And of course, these young men lose their fertility, their ability to have kids, you know, later on. And so it is a big deal. And at the beginning of this segment, you said it, there is a prevention to this. Yeah, I was, gu- was going to say, Tony? I, I, well, I was going to say that when I was playing baseball, I played high school baseball, trying to play a little college as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first thing, the first thing I would put on is the jock strap and, the, and the cup. Why? And I've, I saw a poll a couple of years ago, and it's probably even worse, is... It, there, it was like 18% of players wear a cup, and it's probably lower than that. Why aren't they wearing these? Yeah, I, I, do, I do not know. We did a research study in 1994 with the urology department at Children's trying to highlight, and we got a little bit of, of, of you know, publicity to young athletes. Young athletes, that's when you should start, when you start playing the game. And, and some coaches have told me, youth coaches have told me, they tell their infielders and catchers for sure to wear an athletic support like you said, with a cup, a catcher definitely with a cup. But you know, in baseball, my my uh, feeling is probably in the last ten years the number of kids wearing them has gone down. And in football, you almost can't find anybody in the high school locker rooms that wear an athletic supporter, a jock strap with a cup, and it would protect totally from any of these injuries that you're talking about in baseball. Three of them in three weeks. I know it's relatively rare, but still, you have three in three weeks in baseball. I'd be wearing an athletic supporter with a jock, with a, a cup. If you if you look at, on, on social media last night, which I did, Juan Uribe joked about the fact that he just didn't get one that would fit or something like that. He was not wearing one, and the ball came 106 miles an hour and uh, uh, on that ground ball. I think it was Sunday. Yeah, you're very vulnerable in that area, Dr. Joe Congeni from Akron Children's here on the Ray Warner Morning Show. Uh, when I was playing, and I like to play third base, and I would always play in on the grass. Yeah. And I'd like to gra- the first, I mean, that's the most vulnerable area, and I'm always afraid, especially if you're Juan Uribe or any infielder, you're going to get that bad hop. And I'm not playing on the best of fields. I mean, a- right. Akron doesn't have. Akron isn't. <laughs> uh, you know, these city of Akron fields are not progressive field where you can get an easy bounce. These ones, that's the first thing. And I'm playing softball, and I'm still concerned about my uh, <clears throat> nether region there. Yeah, I, I just yeah. don't understand I mean, this was that. a long time ago for me, too, but I felt more secure wearing uh, an athletic supporter, a jock strap. I really did, and I don't know where it got lost, Tony, but I, I, in talking to some coaches, they do instruct their youngest kids, because you've got to start at a young age. I just felt more supportive. We talk about preventive equipment. Here's a very good place to start with prevention. And, of course, you want to be able to save that fertility for later. And yeah. I think if you asked Jan Gomes or Juan Uribe, 
Uribe or Caleb Joseph right now, they would recommend that kids playing contact sports, playing baseball, wear a jock strap with a cup. Well, I get the one. The, of course, the one drawback to wearing the cup <clears throat> is the comfort level. Yeah. And have since I was playing, since you were playing, have they been able to come up with a different? type of surface that would be a little more comfortable or is this the same old same old after I think it's the, the same old as I've last looked they do have three different models the last I looked but um, they're all pretty similar I, I didn't think it was a terrible discomfort they said that it was uh, that it's bulky and uncomfortable to wear but uh, I don't know. I, I, I uh, would opt for the prevention, and I thought this was really a good opportunity with all that's going on and even working our favorite uh, basketball player, Draymond, into the mix here. you playing against Draymond Green, you might want to have an athletic supporter as well. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> going to be tough. He'll be back for Game 6 tomorrow night. Dr. Joe, thanks for joining us, and we shall talk to you next week. Tony, thank you so much, and the fact that you support what I was talking about today, that you wore one when you played, was uh, really good news. Thanks, Tony. Have yeah, a good week. support in more ways than one, huh, Dr. Right. Joe? <laughs> thanks so much. Dr. Joe Congeni from Akron Children's on the Ray Horner Morning Show.